What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're looking at how to add three digit numbers that involve regrouping or bridging the 10, however you want to call it. Let's have a jump straight into it. Okay, cool. So our two tips for today. Number one, we're going to try and use column labels. We'll see what that means in a moment. And number two, we're going to start with the smallest value. Again, we'll see what that means just now. And for this method, we are going to be using column addition, which means we're going to be putting these numbers into columns on top of each other and then adding them up. The number at the start is going to be the number that goes on the top of our columns and the number afterwards is the number that goes on the bottom. But let's follow our two tips and the first one says use column labels. So when I'm looking at this first number, 452, I'm going to try and label it which means I'm going to put my 1s, 10s, 100s, etc. on top. So I'm going to look first in my 1s column and I can see I have 2 1s, 5 10s and 4 100s. So these 1s, 10s and 100s, they are our column labels. And I'm going to do the same to this other number, 9 1s, 7 10s, 100. Now the reason I do that is because when I'm about to put them in my columns like I am now, 1s, 10s, 100s, I can very clearly see which one of these is going to go in the right column. So let's say I'm starting with my 1s. I can clearly see I have a 2 in the first number and a 9 in the second number. So let's put those in place. 2 on the top, 9 on the bottom. Now I can do my 10s and I can see I have a 5 and a 7. Let's put those in place, 5 and 7. And last but not least, let's do our 100s and I can see I have a 4 and a 1, let's put them in the 100s column, 4 and 1. Let's just check our numbers, 452, that's right, and 179, that's also right. But the beauty of the way we did it is we now know that these numbers are in the perfect columns. So let's put our equal sign and our plus sign and now we're ready to begin. And then my second tip said, start with the smallest value. And the smallest value is of course the 1s. So my question reads 2 plus 9. And 2 plus 9, we know, is 11. But uh oh, what's happening here? I've got a two digit number that can only go into a one digit answer column. So what do I do? Well, I can look at this 11 and I can split it into its ones and its tens. And I can see that I have one one and one ten. Therefore, looking back at my 1s column, I can put my 1 in the answer column, but I'm not going to put my 1 in the 10s column because I've still got other 10s here to add up. So I'm going to move this 1 into the question part and put it down here. Now I'm ready to solve my 10s. And now I have a 5 plus 7 plus this little 1 that we've just added, and that equals 13. And again, same problem. I have a two digit answer. So I'm just going to put my three, just like before, in this column, and then I'll put my one into the hundreds part of my question. Put that down here. Awesome. Now I can start to work out my hundreds, and I have a four plus a one plus my new one, and that equals six. So I can fill my answer in, and I have a total answer of 631. Don't forget to always finish your question by finishing the number sentence. So 631 goes up here. Give myself a tick. Awesome. Let's look at what to remember. Always begin by putting the column labels. This will help you avoid making any small mistakes. Always insert the numbers by putting the smallest value in first. Begin adding from the smallest value. This is really important. If the answer is more than a one digit answer, then we can bridge it into the next column. Your turn. Here are two questions for you to have a go at. Take your time. Put the answers in the comment section, press pause on the video now, I'm going to make sure I mark every single one. Good luck. And there you go guys, hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, think about subscribing to the channel. But for now guys, thank you very much. Peace out. What is up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at how to subtract three digit numbers. Let's go. Okay, today we're looking at this question here, 452 subtract 335, and we're going to follow these two tips. We're going to use column labels, 
and we're going to start with the smallest value. So let's see what that looks like. Well, our column labels, we are simply just going to label the numbers that are in our big number. So we have 452, which is made up of two ones, five tens, and four hundreds. And then we have 335, which is five ones, three tens, and three hundreds. By doing this short tip, it means that we are less likely to make mistakes when we put them in our columns, because we're going to be using column subtraction today. So ones, tens, and hundreds again, and now I can simply put my numbers in place. But before I can start to put these numbers in, I have to understand something very important about subtraction. Subtraction is what's called not commutative, which means I can't put these numbers in any order and expect to get the same answer. For example, if I had 5 subtract 2, I get 3. But if I move these two numbers around and I put 2 subtract 5, I do not get 3. I get a totally different answer. I actually get a negative answer in this case. Therefore, it's super important which way round we put these numbers in our question or in our columns. So the question reads 452 subtract 335. So that means I have to start with my 452 on the top and I'm subtracting 335. And I can check that I put these in the right columns by checking I have a 2 and a 5 in my 1s, a 5 and a 3 in the 10s, and a 4 and a 3 in the 100s. Now I'm ready to begin. So let's put my equals line and I can begin. My second tip said to start with the smallest value. And in this case, the smallest value is, of course, our 1s. And in the 1s column, we have the question 2 subtract 5. So let's think about this very carefully. 2 subtract 5. If I have two apples, here are my beautiful apples, can I take away 5? Let's see. 1, 2, no. I can't take any more than 2 away because obviously I only have 2 in the first place. So what can I do? Well, I've got to look next door because if I look in this tens column, I can understand that this 5 is actually 50. So if this little 2 says, hello, Mr. 50, can I borrow some of you? And he puts this down to a 4. So let's cut that 5, make it a little 4, put that there. That means I can borrow a whole 10 over here. So let's think about what I just did there. There was a 50 in this little box here. I've turned it down to a 40 just here, and I've taken a 10 and given it to my 2. So that means I now have 12 apples. Now I can do it because now my question actually says 12 subtract 5. So now I have my 12 apples. Let's cut away 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now let's count how many I've got left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Whew, that was difficult, wasn't it? So now I've finished my first column. 12 subtract 5 is 7. Awesome. Now I'm ready to look into my tens column. And I can see that I now have 5 subtract 3. Ah, incorrect. Remember, it was a 5, now it's a 4. So this 5 is not a 5, it's a 4. So 4 subtract 3 equals 1. So in the answer column to the 10s, I would have a 1. And then I didn't do anything to my 100s, so I still have the 4 subtract 3, which is here. And 4 subtract 3 also obviously equals 1. So my total answer to 452 subtract 335 is 117. Let's put the answer at the end of my number sentence and give myself a big tick. Awesome. Let's look at what to remember. First, we must always begin by putting the column labels. Begin subtracting from the smallest value. And we must always subtract from the top number. This is really important. Remember, the top number is the number we have. And the bottom number is what we're subtracting away. If there is not enough, we can borrow from next door. Don't be afraid to knock next door and borrow. Your turn. Have a go at answering these two questions. Put your answers in the comment section. I'm going to make sure I mark every single one. And there we have it. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in another video. If you've enjoyed this, please share it with a friend. But for now, guys, peace out.